All offseason, Minnesota Fighting Vikings fans were champing at the bit to get J.C. Treader in the building. Uh, free agent center uh, cut from the Cleveland Browns uh, in a cap-saving move, even though the knees, questionable. Age, questionable, but w- would be an upgrade at center no matter what over Garrett Bradbury, over whatever free agent TBD, uh, over whatever rookie you bring in, etc. But... <sighs> Apparently, according to him, the Vikings didn't return his phone calls. But according to head coach Kevin O'Connell, they didn't even have any conversations. So we're we're just trying to read through the tea leaves here and figure out what's going on. But J.C. Treader on Thursday morning uh, announced that he's retiring on in the next chapter. A wink. I... I would like to to wager a significant amount that J.C. Treader plays one down of football somewhere this season. I, I think that he's going to be retired for about two seconds, right? Uh, and he, he did a Sports Illustrated feature uh, basically painting himself in a good light, saying that he's healthy, he's good to go, and that teams did not call him back, right? So he, he had to wish list this offseason, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, released by the Browns in mid-March, four days after he's elected to second terms, NFLPA. Now, th- there's some conspiracy theories about maybe the league is freezing him out. I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, his short list of dream destinations was topped by the Panthers, as he has a longstanding relationship with O-line coach James Campen. The Cowboys, because I feel like if you're going to play one last year, that environment will be fun. And the Vikings, because he cheered for them as a child and wanted to put a bow on my childhood. Uh, but Treader says, none of the seven teams that his camp contacted reciprocated his interest. Minnesota never returned our call, he says. Now, first off, so J.C. Treader went, went to Cornell. Perhaps you've heard of it. He grew up in upstate New York. Uh, how is he not part of Bill's Mafia? Like, I, I don't understand. Like, How is he a Vikings fan? Anyway, uh, in Treader's estimation, finding the reason for his radio silence isn't difficult. He describes his salary request as modest, not at bet minimum, minimum, but well below the value I bring. He says his right knee is fully ready for game action, having healed itself of its swelling magically, uh, by week eight last season, requiring no more draining for the rest of the season. Plus, Treader adds, no club has so much as requested an MRI or a physical to inspect it. This despite pro football focus ranking him as the league's fifth best center entering this season. So, question marks, question marks. And then Kevin O'Connell at his press conference on Thursday, uh, this is from our guy Will Ragg at Sports Illustrated, uh, Vikings set coach Kevin O'Connell asked about J.C. Treader, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's a tough question to answer. Uh, when asked uh, if uh, his stats as NFLPA president factored in to teams not pursuing him, uh, and whether he, the, the Vikings, a point consider bringing him in, blah, blah, blah. Because as far as I'm concerned, that's news to me. I know Quasi and myself have not had any dialogue with JC. Uh, if someone in this building did, it didn't make it to me. So basically, uh, basically JC Treader is saying, hey, we reached out to the Vikings. They never called us back. Now, what happened here? Because you would think that if uh, if uh, JC's agent, he would probably have Quasey's number, right? Because uh, JC uh, and Quasey were in Cleveland for two, the last two seasons together. So uh, I think that uh, JC's uh, agent would have the phone number. So he would be reaching out directly to Quasey. Like this isn't going through a secretary. This isn't going through uh, a scout. This isn't doing that. So. I, it would have had to have started and ended with Quasey, right? So maybe Quasey talked about with Kevin O'Connell and maybe uh, O'Connell's being like, oh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Or maybe Quasey just put the kibosh on it. So I don't know. So, something weird's going on here with J.C. Treader. And it, it is shocking. You know, the, the way that he played last season, even though he never practiced, he had to have his knee drained, and there's a lot of questions about it. You think that even at age 31, there's a lot of center needy teams around the league. You look at the Vikings, you look at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, uh, who just had Ryan Jensen go down uh, a couple weeks ago. So, I mean, there, there's needs. I mean, like, there's a demand for a quality center like J.C. Treader. And it, it's shocking that no team would at least bring him in for a physical, would at least bring him in for a workout just so they can see up close and personal. Is that knee really good to go? Uh, is that health going to hold up for the entire season? Would he still be an upgrade uh, even uh, marginally uh, over who you got at center? Because, I mean, J.C. Treader, even if he's a fraction of what he was last season on the field in the regular season, I still think that he would be an upgrade over Bradbury, right? And I don't know. Like, maybe... <laughs> Maybe Quasey and Kevin O'Connell and Chris Cooper are just that bullish on Garrett Bradbury. It's like, Mama, I can change him in year four, want some more. Or maybe they believe that Chris Reed can take over or Austin Schlutman, the Dutch pronunciation, can take over. I don't know. 
I don't know, man. But uh, there's a lot of things going on with this whole J.C. Treader thing. Like, part of me believes the conspiracy theories. Part of me believes, you know, he's just a a player that was past the sell-by date and health just caught up to him and teams don't want to mess around. Maybe it's a combination of both. I I, I don't really know. But, uh, again, I'm going to wager that J.C. Treader plays a down of football sometime because some team is going to have a need, whether through performance, whether through injury, whether through whatever. And then J.C. Treader's like, I'm back, baby. I'm back. That's right, man. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Did the Vikings contact Quace, uh, contact uh, J.C. Treader or not? Did Quasey return the phone call? Did he Did he just delete the voicemail? Who knows? Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once you put the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.